Hello, Zoltan here from Adagio Hands, releasing stuck bodies. In this video, we're talking about tummy massage, more specifically myofascial release, which is gentle, careful, connective tissue release in the tummy. Now, many people may think that a massage is just something for the back, back of the legs, the neck and the shoulders. But if you think about it, a lot of the important structures of the body are more accessible from the front, the organs, the viscera. And that's because when we were walking around on all fours, our bodies were protected from the back, from the top, and then everything was hanging towards the ground and the ground was protecting that area. So it didn't need a hard casing. Now we're walking upright. Those things are more open to the world. So we'll talk a little about what kinds of things tummy massage can help with, and then we'll look at why it might help. And then we'll look at an exercise that you can do for yourself. The first thing I'd like to say is if you do have an unexplained pain or unexplained sensation in your tummy that concerns you, of course, go and see a doctor. It could be something serious. Have it thoroughly checked out. See if you can get a diagnosis. And then if the doctor's signed you off or if they've given you medication, then you can decide on what your next steps are and what alternative therapies you might try to alleviate the problem or even resolve the cause, the source of the problem. So what kinds of issues can a tummy massage help with? Well, there's four, maybe five categories that are real off here. There's inflammatory conditions that flare up there's restriction, stuckness in the organs, whether it's the bowels or other organs. Then there's scar release. So if you have a scar on your tummy, tummy massage can help with that. And then there's pain, not in the tummy, but maybe in the pelvis or in the back that a tummy massage can help with. So let's just take those in turn. Inflammatory conditions. So these can be very painful in the tummy and they may come and go. They flare up and then they disappear. And then when they flare up, they're very painful. It can be hypersensitivity, Crohn's disease, leaky gut is something we hear about. Often we go to the doctor and we're given the diagnosis of IBS, irritable bowel syndrome which is a kind of catch-all for something going on. And I'll say more about the contributing factors to that. And it's not just the intestines, but also, for example, uh, ladies, there's endometriosis, which is a very painful condition where there's scarring that gets inflamed in the tummy. So that's inflammation. Second is restriction. It may be restriction in the bowels, but a concept that's really come from the East, Eastern philosophy, Eastern medicine. So think Tai Chi, Qigong, is that you want the organs of the body to be hanging freely and moving freely and pulsing freely. So the theory is if they're compressed, if they're not able to move, if they're tight, then they can't function efficiently. Fluid exchange and cell nutrient exchange cannot happen as healthily as it should. Scarring is the next one and examples of caesareans and appendicitis, but possible other surgery means that when the scar heals, there's going to be a tightness in the fascia, in the connective tissue there. So when you move, you may find that there's a pull. You can, you can reach, but there's a pull in your tummy that feels like it shouldn't be there. A tightness that restricts your motion maybe even when you're trying to stand up straight it's almost as if you're fighting your own body so that's something tummy massage can help with by slowly methodically releasing the scar and then back pain and pelvic pain and the re reason why that can work is because the muscles that connect in with those areas are often running through the abdomen and through the tummy again let me just emphasize the note of caution if you have an unexplained pain or if you have any concerns about sensations in your tummy or in your pelvis, then do get that checked out by a qualified doctor. So I'll now talk a little about why tummy massage may help. And it's worth bearing in mind that 
the tummy is sometimes known as the second brain of the body. So when we feel things in our gut, when we have butterflies in our stomach, when we feel excitement, all of those sensations in our tummy, it's because it's very highly innovated. It's very strongly connected with the brain, with emotions. And that means that when we work with the tummy, all of those kinds of issues may start to be addressed as well. But it also means that you want to look at lifestyle issues as well if you have tummy issues. So nutrition, non-inflammatory foods, hydration, making sure that you have enough hydration to allow things to work efficiently, make sure you're getting enough sleep. And if you're feeling stressed or have a stressful job, stressful home life, find ways of reducing that because that stress can manifest in the tummy. In terms of what we mechanically do with a tummy massage, let me show you a prop here. So if you imagine the tissues of the tummy, they're going to be a bit like this. This is the connective tissue and this is all the connective tissue from the front of your spine all the way to the front of your tummy and down into your pelvis, around your organs. It's wrapped up all like this. It's called the mesentery and there's an awful lot of it. And what you really want is that tissue to be moving nice and freely like this. But what happens if you're not able to move? Either you've been sitting an awful lot or because there's been inflammation that's led to pain, then you've been wary about moving. As a result, those healthy tissues, they start to get stuck together because there's no movement. And as they get stuck together, those adhesions get stronger and stronger. So now it would be very painful just to pull this apart. You really need to be very careful and very tender and gentle in pulling these tissues apart. And when the tissues are like this and you try to move, it can be painful, it can be tight. There can be inflammation, which then causes further pain. And there's a kind of vicious circle there. So the tummy massage has to be gently done, gently separating tissues so that they become free again. And then we help stretch them out, they rehydrate, fluids flow, and they can be healthy again. And remember what I said earlier about the nervous system, when we give the tummy a bit of touch therapy, that itself can calm and downregulate the nervous system. Imagine a hand on your shoulder at stressful times. So I said we'd look at a quick exercise. This is what it is. And just to emphasize again, I know that it can be very painful when you have a sensation in your tummy. So what we're going to do is be very kind and just place our hands one on top of the other on the tummy. No need to dig in or press or anything. Just have a tiny bit of pressure so you can feel it and make a note of how your tummy responds to that. Does it feel the touch of your hand? Does it feel the warmth or the coolness of your hand? Does it feel some pressure? And get your tummy used to a bit of touch therapy for yourself. Once you're used to that, you can perhaps make small circles with your hand still being in touch with your tummy and feel for any stretch there. So gently making circles. For the purposes of this exercise, it doesn't matter which way you make the circle, but just feel for whether you feel any sensation in your tummy, whether you feel any pull as you move your hands. And that itself will be helpful because you get to know where you're feeling sensation, where you feel pull, where you feel tightness. And then if you want to, and if pain allows you to, See if you can open up a bit more. See if you can reach and gently, with connection, stretch aspects of your tummy. See where you can feel a stretch, where you can feel opening. So those are just a few suggestions for what you can do for yourself with your tummy and see if that feels like that's something you'd like to engage with, whether it generates more awareness of what's going on in your tummy and then if you feel that you'd like a more sustained 
touch therapy on your tummy, then that's a time perhaps to go and see a manual therapist specializing in myofascial release. So I hope you found that helpful. Good luck with what is often a very difficult journey. Thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye for now.